Hey guys, we're back um, in the prep kitchen at the Rachel Ray Show. We are live on Facebook. Um, I'm Jeanette, this is my good friend Grant, and today we are talking about the summer ingredient that um, is my favorite, is probably one of yours, and it's just kind of the fruit of the moment. Today we are talking about the strawberry. Ooh, yes. We are, um, by the end of this broadcast, you are going to see six, uh, six strawberry recipes from savory to sweet. Right. And, um, but as always, we'd love to hear from you guys. So if you could comment below, um, and let us know what you guys got going on, um, what kind of strawberry recipes are some of your favorite. And, um, if you hopefully one of these six is going to be your favorite by the time that we are done with this broadcast. And, um, I think we will start today with dessert first, right? Totally. Grant? Let's do it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with dessert first today, and we are going to make some strawberry shortcake. Probably Ooh. the most classic strawberry dish. It's one think, of my right? favorite desserts in the summer, um, definitely. And it's also super simple. Uh, for the strawberries, we're just going to macerate them, which is a really easy technique that you can do with any berry or a lot of summertime fruits. This is great for mm. peaches, um, for other berries, pretty much anything that you like. Um, that was just half a juice of lemon. Um, basically what you do is you just add some acid and a little bit of sugar to the berries. I like to use confectioner sugar because it gets nice and syrupy. I like that as a tip. Because yeah. I normally just use regular sugar, but that you're right, that would probably make it nice, a and, lot nicer and syrupy. Totally. And my favorite part about this is you don't have to cook anything, right? Yeah. You don't have to turn on the oven. Nope. You don't have to put it on the stove Hot top. out there, people. Yeah. <laughs> so you basically just let this sit at room temperature um, for at least 15 minutes. Um, you can do it longer than that. The longer it sits, the more syrupy mm -hmm. it's going to get. You can even do this the day ahead of time and pop it in the fridge and, um, you know, do it ahead of Great time. Great tip. So we're actually going to come back to those at the end of the broadcast and those will be done. Uh, but now I want to make the shortcake. Mm, the best for part. Strawberry shortcake. Uh, Bernice commented and she said she loves strawberries. Ooh, so great. do we, Bernice. So. Well, Bernice brought her first recipe and we have five more. Yes, we so do. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of recipes for you. So, in this food processor, I like to make my dough in a food processor because it goes a lot faster. Mm -hmm. um, I have some flour, a little bit of sugar, some baking powder, and some salt. And okay. I just add four tablespoons of cubed butter. And we're just going to buzz that up just a couple times. And is that cold butter the same way that you're using in pie dough? Yeah. So okay. just be like, this is basically, we're making like a sweet biscuit. Okay. Um, sweet biscuit. Yeah. Sweet biscuit. <laughs> um, and then this is some sour cream, which is sort of like my secret weapon. Um, it keeps the cake nice and moist, but it also gives it a nice tangy flavor. So it's not super sweet, which I kind of like, because those berries are going to be really sweet on top. Definitely. Angela's saying hello from Willingboro, New Jersey. Another Jersey Ooh. girl. Hey, Angela. Hey, Angela. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, so I have my sour cream down into our uh, food processor. Now all we do is we just turn that on and we let it go until all the dough comes together. Okay. And eventually a dough ball is going to uh, form in here. I'm just going to let this keep going so we can see that happen. Um, but then what you do is you scoop it out into six big scoops, awesome. just like these that you see right here. And you can see how fast this dough comes fast. together. Isn't that cool? And then all you do is use a scoop, or you could use like a quarter cup measure and just scoop them out onto a sheet tray. And then I like to top mine with a little bit of coarse sugar. This is mm. turbinado sugar. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, but it's like just sugar like, in the raw. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's basically the same, I think. Yeah. Um, but it gives it a nice texture and it looks really pretty too. Um, so I'm going to pop these in the oven. These take 15 minutes. At the end of this broadcast, we're going to eat these. Ooh. So stay tuned and you're going to see these come I love to that. life. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> but it is, it's Friday, right? It is Friday. I'm a little thirsty. Happy Friday, guys. I think Jeanette has a cocktail I for do. us, right? I do. I thought we'd celebrate Friday with Great. a cocktail. Um, so I don't know if you guys are like me, but rosé is kind of my summer drink. So um, I thought I would doctor it up today with a little bit of our favorite ingredient, which is the strawberry. So um, I am going to make a strawberry rosé spritz which I thought sounded really refreshing for today it is a little warm out in New York and it's gonna be hot this weekend so um, if you guys happen to make this let us know send us some pictures so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start with a 750 milliliter bottle of rosé any kind will do and my friend Emily taught me this tip a few years back where um, when you're pouring something from a bottle of wine into um, a pitcher or a bowl you use the swirling motion and it makes everything come out a lot faster it almost Ooh, makes like a cool tornado tip. in the bottle this is a great tip for Jeanette because she just can't drink a rosé fast enough. <laughs> I can't get it. She just it needs it to come out faster. <laughs> Hurry up! So, yeah, I love I love that tip. So now I'm just gonna take um, two handfuls of some fresh strawberries. We pick these up at the farmers market this week. Yeah. They're looking so They're gorgeous. Really beautiful. We even have these teeny tiny ones which are love fun. Those. The taste of these is pretty incredible. It's yeah. like a condensed strawberry flavor. It's awesome. Um, we have a post below from Lisa and she's asking if we have any sweet and savory recipes coming. We do. Um, the first one we started off with uh, is a dessert, so that's our sweet one. Jeanette. Yeah. 
Kate's yes. making a drink. I'm going to make a drink. And then we're going to have two savory dishes as well. Yes, we are. So I think we're covering all of your bases here. And so hi to Lisa in Nova Scotia, Canada. Ooh, all of our Canada. Canadian friends are back again. Okay, so that's all you do is um, you're just going to soak the berries into some rosé. And I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator for a couple hours or overnight. Um, and now... I've got this one, which has been soaking so lovely. Um, so what I'm going to do is, again, so far just two ingredients, rosé and strawberries. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to strain these into here. Ooh, I love the color that the rosé turns. It comes, it's like a really deep red Even color, pink, but it's yeah. still like clear and pretty. I, know. I love that. So now I'm going to take this in the sake of not dirtying another bowl. You guys with oh, me? <laughs> hate dirty more bowls. Um, we have a post from Amy who says, will you ever teach a bartending course, Jeanette? Ooh, Ooh Jeanette, Amy, I think you just gave like me a, a new summer job. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to take, do you have the top over there for oh, this? Um, Bridget just commented, rosé all day. Rosé all day, Love Bridget. It. Yes. Of <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to zap these up. And now we're making what I like to call a boozy, ras a boozy strawberry puree. Which um, you could definitely throw on top of like a mimosa. I or... always put that on toast. Yeah, toast. Actually. It's Friday. It's yeah, the weekend. It's like a boozy jam. Exactly. So now I'm gonna take uh, my boozeberry. My boozeberry is that? Ooh, we're getting ourselves messy here. Is that a berry? A boozeberry? Um, and I'm gonna just put this right back into my rosé. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Thanks. I thought it was pretty pink. And who doesn't love a spritz on a warm summer day, right? Yeah. Um, and now I'm just gonna stir that up. Joy um, posted, should you macerate your fruit when adding it to cake mix? Um, I don't know about adding it to cake mix, but I definitely have to macerate fruit to put it on top of cake. Um, I actually like to get a little help from the store and buy an angel food cake, Ooh. and then you can macerate strawberries just like we did here, just and put that on top of the cake. We love angel food cake in the summer. Yeah, it's, you don't have to bake anything. Exactly. Just buy it from the store. Exactly. So um, I've got, uh, I'm going to top this off. What makes it a spritz is a little bit of seltzer. And of course, as I'm standing here right now, is why couldn't we have used Prosecco? That would have been smart. Why didn't we think of that? Amy, I do need to teach this bartending class. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm just gonna pour it over um, wine glasses that are filled about halfway with ice. And you can see when we, um, we're pureeing the uh, strawberries, they didn't break down completely, so it kind of looks yeah. really nice, like all floating That's in there. That's beautiful, it's really pretty. Thank you. And then I'm gonna garnish it with a little mint sprig. Ooh, mint. And then um, a strawberry on the side. I'm so excited. I slip these somewhere. Oh, you put a little slit in them. Yeah, That's I did. cute. I thought that'd be fancy. And I fun. love that. All right, my darling. My mom loves strawberry lemonade. She does. So this this one's for like, you, Pam. This is for Pam. <laughs> Pam um, strawberry one. Debbie commented that she loves these live shows and says thank you. So cheers to you, cheers, Debbie. Debbie. Thank Thanks you. For cheers to you. Yeah. Cheers. Happy Friday. Ooh, that's Ooh. good. When you thought rosé couldn't get any better. Mm -hmm. So nice and sweet and delicious. That's wonderful. I love that. All right, I'm Don't let keep... that drink go anywhere. No, I'm not. You know what would go really nicely with this um, drink is a recipe that we actually got from Rachel. We were chatting with her last week when we were talking about the topic of strawberries. Yeah. And um, she was telling us this is a recipe she's super into right now. Grant, what is it? So um, it's really super simple. This is a great salad or appetizer course. You just slice some mozzarella. You could also use burrata cheese. Oh, I love burrata. Um, and you slice it, not super thin, a little thick, um, and just put it onto a plate. Top it with a bunch of these baby strawberries that Those I just showed so you guys cute. earlier. They're just so cute. Um, I mean, you could use big ones too and just slice them up. And I'm going to keep these guys. berries whole. Mm -hmm. And then we just top it with a little bit of olive oil. Great. Um, some coarse sea salt. And a little bit of mint or basil. Pretty much anything that you have. Um, you know, when you're going to the farmer's market to pick up Richie. your berries, just pick up some fresh herbs as well. You awesome. can use basil. You can use mint. Sherry commented and she said, can you use any of these with blueberries? Absolutely. Absolutely I can't yeah. see why not. You could. Love see, a check out that salad. Here. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Reach. Um, our girl Reach. Oh, he's knocking it right out of the park. It's so <laughs> simple, but it's so smart. It is, I know. I just love it. Um, so this is a really great drink that Jeanette made. I'm actually going to make another drink um, that's great for the children. Better for the kids. Yeah, this one's better <laughs> for the kids. But Jeanette and I made this yesterday and we love it. So it's for adults too, I guess. Yes. Oh, um, I'm so making smaller. some strawberry milk. Ooh. Just like you had in the cafeteria when you were a kid. Oh, Isn't that Does that fun? not bring back such memories for I you know, guys? Right? There was the brown carton, the white carton, the pink carton. Everybody went for the pink the carton, pink right? The pink carton. Um, could you measure out a half Absolutely. a cup of strawberries into this blender? Um, and I'm just going to put in a cup of milk. I'm using whole milk, but you could pretty much use any milk that you have. Jeanette was suggesting using um, almond milk earlier, yeah. which is a great suggestion, those, I think. Uh, lactose. 
Yeah. Um, our friend Joey Cola just wrote in hey, and Joey said, Cola. cheers, love you guys. Joey is the warm-up guy for our show, and he is the best. Oh, I so miss Joey. I do, too. We miss you over the summer, Joey. Come visit <laughs> us. Uh, we'll be back a lot more this summer, so maybe you could stop in and... Uh, and uh, oh, we can totally. warm up our audience I here will, for Facebook Live. The three people that are <laughs> on the other side of the counter. The <laughs> um, so I also added in, in here two tablespoons of sugar mm. and a splash of vanilla and just a tiny bit of salt, just to bring everything together. I'm so excited for and this. And I'm just gonna blend this out. Yeah, you got quickly. everything. Yeah, a towel. I, just, I don't have the towel. <laughs> I already on. got strawberry all over me, but it's stra strawberry palooza day, so today's the day to get yourself messy. And it's as simple as that. It's that How quick. Fun. You just blend it up. And then I have some chilled glasses over Let me there. Grab this for you. Milk is best when it's nice and cool. Exactly. And just pour it. Look at that beautiful strawberry milk color. So nice. And that was all natural ingredients too. It was fresh strawberries, yeah, some absolutely. awesome milk. Look at that. So Look at that and color. Delicious. Isn't that beautiful? Cheers. Cheers again. An awesome drink for the kids or the adults. Ooh. Like the two of us. That's nice. <laughs> Lovely. <clears throat> Bridget's asking, um, what about basil and strawberries? That's one of my favorite combinations, actually. Rachel used mint in that salad, um, but I really love basil and strawberries. I actually think you're going to use basil in your next recipe, I am, right? Yes, I am. Um, so we're going to move on to the savory side of strawberries. We're getting things a little bit um, more savory. And Jeanette, so what are you making over here? Um, this is some strawberries. I, yes, I am making, um, when we were thinking about what we like to make with strawberries, I was thinking, why can't you um, use the sweetness of a strawberry and use that to sweeten something that you normally, you know, add either sugar to or maple syrup to? So I'm using strawberries as my main ingredient today for this um, strawberry balsamic barbecue sauce. Ooh, yummy. So, yeah, and I that thought, nice. you know, people are definitely going to be barbecuing and grilling this weekend to celebrate Dad. Right? It's a. I can't, I can't drink it with on now. I know, it's so good though. Um, you know, we're all celebrating Dad this weekend, so everybody's looking for different grilling and barbecue recipes. So oh, we should I give thought, a quick shout out to our dads. Oh, yeah. Happy Father's Day, Wendell. Hi, Wendell and Joe. Wendell and Joe. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Um, so I'm just starting this off with I had um, about four cups of some fresh strawberries, which I just sauteed in a little bit of coconut oil. I thought the coconut oil was nice since we were kind of going for the sweet, savory thing. You could definitely use some olive oil. Olive oil or vegetable oil, though. Yeah. Um, and to that, I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of some dry red wine, which is always at my house. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Um, and now I'm just going to let that uh, deglaze and cook down a little bit. And we were just talking when we were preparing these recipes before. You can absolutely stop right here and pour this over ice cream. That would be delicious. A little. Yeah. The, the strawberries are just so sweet this time of year. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Um, but instead, we're going to we're turning this into a little bit of a barbecue sauce. So that's starting to bubble. So that I'm going to add about a cup of ketchup. I love cooking with strawberries too because when you apply heat to them, they have that natural like pectin in it. Yes. Um, it sort of thickens everything up. So it's great for a barbecue sauce. It's why exactly. we use strawberries for jam a lot exactly. too. Exactly. Awesome. So now I'm going to add a little bit of, I was looking for Worcestershire sauce in the walk-in yesterday and I found this um, steak sauce that Rachel really likes to use and I thought, why couldn't I use steak sauce instead of some Worcestershire sauce? So Absolutely. On the fly, a little couple tablespoons of steak sauce. barbecue sauce on the fly. <laughs> um, Deborah commented from Daytona Beach, Florida. Oh, hi Hello, Deborah. Deborah. Nice, nice to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Um, and Claudia, she commented, she's from the south of Sweden. Ooh. Fun. Hello, Claudia. Are strawberries in season in Sweden? I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you let us know? Let us know. Um, all right. So I just seasoned that up with a little bit of uh, granulated onion and a little bit of granulated garlic. Yeah. Um, if you've been watching our Facebook Live uh, broadcast, you know that we like things a little spicy. Yeah. So I'm adding a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes to kind of stick with my Italian theme. And then the other um, all-star ingredient to this is a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Um, and that's going to give it some really nice, deep, dark color, a little bit of sweetness, a mm -hmm. little uh, vinegary tang. It's beautiful. And now I'm adding um, the last ingredient, which is a little bit of brown sugar. Really help and bring out the sweetness of those strawberries. So now this is almost at a bubble. And once this comes to a bubble, you're just going to let, once it comes to a bubble, you're going to simmer it on low. So we're going to let this one go for a little bit. Um, I have this one completed, and this is my um, strawberry balsamic barbecue sauce. And since we were thinking about the dads on Sunday, I thought my dad loves chicken wings. So I thought, why not top this uh, on some chicken wings, yeah, which I baked in the oven for 400 and for at 425 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. And those just cooked. They're just about there. I'm going to add some of the barbecue sauce, and we're going to broil them. Alex has a great question. He's yeah. asking um, how to reduce the amount of seeds in strawberry milk. Oh, okay. We don't mind drinking the seeds. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, Jeanette and I don't, but if you wanted to strain your milk, you absolutely could do that. Definitely. And that would, um, um, you know, 
reduce the amount of seeds. And you could even use cheesecloth to really get all those seeds out. Good idea. Yeah. I hope you make the strawberry milk because it's really refreshing it's really and delicious. Good. It's so easy. So, so simple. And it's just a couple of All right, so I'm just tossing these to coat in our strawberry balsamic barbecue sauce. And if you're just joining us, Grant and I are backstage at the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen, and we are making, say, strawberry palooza, right? We're celebrating yeah. the fruit of the moment. You've all got a carton of strawberries in your refrigerator. I know you do. I know I do. So <laughs> I always do. I yeah. always do in the summer. They're so fresh and delicious. Um, Tina uh, commented and has a great question. She's asking how you keep berries from growing mold too quickly. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm no scientist, but what we I can tell you what we did. We actually bought our strawberries a few days ago at the mm -hmm. farmer's market. Um, and we just laid them flat on sheet trays and then put cloth towels on top. That way they can still kind of breathe and they don't trap in too much moisture. Um, and I think that's a great way from keeping them from growing mold. Definitely, yeah. Um, it's when they touch each other. Yeah, when they're that's... sitting on top of each other and like enclosed in something, that's when they start to grow mold. Exactly. All right, so I'm just popping these under the broiler to really caramelize the sauce. And I think you, my friend Grant, have another savory I strawberry do. recipe to show us. I have one more savory recipe for you guys. This is a strawberry salsa. Ooh. I know, kind of fun, right? Um, and again, this one's super simple. We're going to make it in the food processor. The one Yours with the is lip the lip one that doesn't have as much um, empty from it. Uh, so in the food processor, I'm going to add a pint of strawberries mm. that I cleaned. And I cut these down a little bit just so they come together a little bit faster, but you can throw them in a hole, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to add in a handful of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you could use basil, you could use mint, or you could just skip it all together. Mm. Who cares? Cindy commented and asked if we've ever gone to a strawberry patch. I oh. actually haven't. Oh, I have. You have? Yeah. Can we I go? used to be one down the street from me when I was a kid. There's actually a huge strawberry festival in Troy, Ohio, which is close oh. to where I grew up. And there's a ton of strawberry patches around there. Um, and my parents um, go to a strawberry patch in Edisto, South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Has the best strawberries. Oh, and your dad makes the why. best jam out of and those strawberries. Oh, it. yeah. so good. Um, so I just coarsely chopped these strawberries in the food processor with some cilantro. That already looks beautiful. I'm going to add, thank you, a little bit of honey. Would you squeeze those limes I'm into there? I'm happy to. We just need a little bit of acid. Sheila says that she's a first time watcher and she wants to try everything. Ooh. Sheila, we hope you do. Well, luckily <laughs> for you, Sheila, these recipes are all super simple. Um, and you can go buy a ton, go strawberry picking this weekend. You can make all of these next week. And they're all going to be posted, all six of these recipes, including Rachel's beautiful mozzarella salad, they're all going to be posted up on the Facebook page a little bit later today, so make sure you check back. If you guys are just tuning in today, we're doing all things strawberry. We're yes. actually on our, is this our sixth recipe already? Uh, so are we on our sixth already? I think we're on our sixth, but wow. we haven't shown our dessert We have a yet. few things happening. We've got yeah. dessert, we've got the wings um, in the oven. But I'm making some strawberry salsa. So in this food processor, I have some fresh strawberries, some cilantro. I added in some onion and some jalapeno, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, a little bit of honey and lime juice. And you just pulse it up until it's nice and coarsely Such chopped. a beautiful color. I know, isn't that pretty? We were just chatting a little bit before this and we were saying, um, I don't know, we posted some pictures on Facebook, I think, earlier this season. We always, every Christmas time, we have a big Rachel Ray Show staff potluck. Yeah. And it's one of our favorite days, because it's one of the days that we don't cook. Everybody around <laughs> us is cooking. And um, one of our friends, Deb D'Amato, who's the head of our travel department here. Hi, Deb. How are you? Hi, Happy Deb. summer. Um, she made a, a strawberry salsa. Yeah. And we went crazy for it. It's she so just, good. The amount of jalapenos she put in, it was just, it, the sweet and the spicy, it's just so good. And the, uh, the salty chips she served it with. Yeah, so I'm sure. absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm actually going to serve our two ways. I have it on a chip platter right here, just mm. simply with some chips. I'm going in. Need. I'm going in. Yeah, go in and try that. Um, but this is actually also a really great topper for anything that you grill this mm. summer. I just have some uh, grilled chicken, just easy. Salt, pepper, olive oil. I grilled it, and we're going to top it with this really flavorful strawberry salsa. That is so, the sweet, I'm double dipping. You guys double dip, right? It's not just me. Um, You're amongst friends. I am amongst friends. So delicious. And Amber is saying that we're making too. her hungry. Amber, we're hungry too, that's why I'm sitting here eating. <laughs> we're making ourselves hungry. We're making today. ourselves hungry. Carol's asking, what's the best way to store fresh strawberries? Um, Grant was just talking a little bit before. When you get home, you want to lay them out on a sheet tray or a cookie sheet um, with maybe a paper towel underneath it or a towel. And then um, you just want to keep them separated because when they, it's when they are touching each other, is that well, that's when the problems are going to start. Like we're going to yeah. get like mold and whatever. So just keep them separate, flat, and dry. And I think they'll really, if you get them from the farmer's market or the store, they'll stay in the fridge for a couple of days. Yeah, totally. Um, while we're waiting for our wings and our dessert to be finished, I want to catch you guys up on everything we've made so far today. So far we have made, this re recipe comes straight from Rachel Ray herself. Mm -hmm. This is her strawberry and mozzarella salad. Just mozzarella with strawberries, some mint, olive oil, salt, and pepper on top. That's a great appetizer or a salad course. That would be really Absolutely. nice as. Um, and then we made two drinks. Jeanette made this really beautiful um, rosé strawberry spritz, mm -hmm. right? Oh, did we switch glasses? We switched glasses again. Mine's the one with the lip gloss on it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? 
Maybe I'm wearing lip gloss. Um, and then we also made this really, really yummy nostalgic strawberry milk. Um, Jeanette yes, made some strawberry balsamic barbecue sauce that we put on some wings. Those are in the oven right now. And just in a few minutes, these um, strawberry shortcakes are going to come out of the oven, and we're going to taste those too. That's six strawberry recipes. That is six strawberry. Strawberry. I'm exhausted I'm tired. talking about it. <laughs> Michelle just posted and said, can you freeze strawberries? Are they better whole or pureed? Would you like I think to take I, that one? Yeah, I think I would um, freeze them whole. That way you can do more with them. I agree. Um, one of my favorite things to make actually is a frozen strawberry margarita. Mm, it always just, goes back to margaritas know, between right? the two of us. Um, you put the frozen <laughs> strawberries in the blender with some lime juice, a little tequila, some triple sec, and you just Ooh. blend it up. It's super smooth and yummy. So it's good. like a tequila strawberry slushy. Ooh, I, super good. Delicious. Um, while we're talking on the same vein as strawberry recipes, we're actually going to post this one to our friend Maddie, our coworker. Oh, yeah. He made us this awesome strawberry freezer jam, and it was something I never heard of before. Yeah. I don't know if this is something that people, I've never heard of it, but um, Maddie has this great recipe for it. Um, it's a little, it's thinner than regular jam, but you're supposed to store it in the freezer, and oh. um, you never cook it. It's, it's raw. So we're going to post this recipe up. Maddie, great job. Keep cooking. Thank you for the jam, Maddie. Our darling friend, uh, Maddie. All right, so I think these are ready to go. Oh my God, look at these. Ooh, those look so good. Yes. Nice. So I just pop these under the broiler. Again, this is my strawberry balsamic barbecue sauce, which we put on wings for the dads for Sunday. You know, it's it's their day. Dad, dads love chicken wings. Totally. Um, I'm going to top it with a little bit of basil. Ooh, that looks so good. I think so. These are a bit too... I like too... the way it charred up a little bit too. It did, right They're under nice the broiler. Sticky. Yeah, so I just roasted the chicken wings at 425 for about 15 minutes, and then I popped them under the broiler. Check those out. Aren't they look, they look great? I'm really excited to eat those when they're a little bit less hot. <laughs> so over here, guys, I just pulled our strawberry oh shortcakes my gosh, they're ready. out of the oven. Aren't those beautiful? They're beautiful, Graham. And they came together super fast. They did. Um, so so what I like to do is just put them in a nice little shallow bowl like this. Just one of them. I'm actually going to break this one open because I feel like it'll look nicer that way. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. fluffy inside, Graham. And then I'm going to top it with... Our macerated strawberries, as you can see, they get nice and wet and sticky. Those are going to be super yummy. Awesome. Right Let me on move top. this out of your way since it's so hot. Thank you. Right on top of our strawberry shortcake. And I actually like to serve strawberry shortcake the way that my grandpa used to do. I don't know why he does this, and I don't know if anybody else does this at home, but he always put a splash of milk right on top. Oh. Just to get everything, you know, nice and wet and yummy. That's funny. I have a memory of my grandma. She used to pour milk over ice cream. Oh. Isn't that funny? That's interesting, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I like to top it with a little bit of Ooh. vanilla whipped cream. And of course, a little just sprinkle salt. of salt. A little sprinkle of salt. Always. Carrie just posted and she said, what's the best way to sweeten strawberries when they aren't very sweet? Um, which is funny. That kind of reminds me of our pie on the fly that we made a few Facebook, uh, yeah, totally. Facebook live broadcasts back. Um, so we had, we had made pie on the fly. We could post that recipe below in the comments as well. We were using blueberries and it was just at the early stages of blueberry season yeah. and they weren't too sweet. So when we were baking them in a pie or macerating them, we just added a little bit extra sugar. Yeah. Right? A little extra sugar. Can I have a spoon please? Oh, totally. Yeah. I was going to show everybody, <laughs> check out gorgeous. the strawberry shortcake we just made. Awesome. That took only 15 minutes and it's done. And all this you can make ahead of time, too. You can make your I strawberry know. shortcake a day before and your macerated strawberries oh, so as well. Good. Can we try it? Yeah, totally. Jackie just posted and said, how long can you freeze strawberries for? I'm not sure that there'd be a... I don't know if there's a limit. If they were properly stored and they didn't get um, freezer burned, I'd say they'd last a couple yeah. of months, right? I don't know where my spoon went, so I'm using oh. this spatula. <laughs> your favorite, Rachel Ray. Right? <laughs> it's yeah. my favorite tool. Tool. All right. So I have a little bit of cake, a little bit of whipped cream. Oh, ground. And a berry. The salt on there is so good. And mm. this just popped out of the oven. You saw us make that in just 15 minutes. Yeah. So if you had it's guests coming over, pop those in and serve this warm. You could see like the smoke coming off, the, the heat steam coming off of it still. Um, Can I have another bite? Yeah. Even though we did all this all together, I just realized today how versatile strawberries are. Mm. It's fun. That it's like we went from dessert to drinks to chicken wings to savory to a salsa. You could do a whole meal with strawberries. I know. Rice. Isn't that incredible? It really is cool. It's I was really saying cool. to Grant, you could put your salsa on the chicken wings if you really wanted to get strawberry crazy. Um, Christy from Fort Worth is tuning in. Hello, Christy. Hi, Christy. Thanks for joining us. It's hot in Texas, so you're definitely going to need one of these this weekend. It might be about as hot in here as it is in Texas. So it's getting a little warm. <laughs> cheers to the great state of Texas. <laughs> so cheers to you guys. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. We always have so much fun with you, you guys. Um, like I said, so we made six strawberry recipes from sweet to savory. We made Rachel's beautiful strawberry mozzarella salad right here. I'm gonna be making that this weekend, oh, I think. Totally, you made two drinks, yeah. Jeanette's strawberry rosé spritzer and a strawberry chocolate milk. Strawberry and milk. then we went to the savory side with Jeanette's strawberry balsamic chicken wings 
and this gorgeous strawberry salsa that you mm. see right here. And then we finish it up with a strawberry mm -hmm. shortcake. Um, and a bonus recipe for Maddie's strawberry freezer jam. That's seven recipes, right? Ooh, seven. All of them will be available on the Facebook page later today. So make sure you guys come <laughs> back and check those out. Um, thank you so much for watching. Jeanette and I are going to be on the Facebook page all summer long. And we would love to hear what you guys want us to cook. So comment and let us know what you want us to make on the show. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you soon. Make sure to like, comment, share, and cook. Bye, Thanks, guys. guys. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Mm.